I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska statewide weather on this Saturday, December 3rd. Uh, we continue to watch a strong area of high pressure anchored over the North Pacific up and through the Gulf and covering the uh, eastern half of the mainland as well as influencing weather there, especially across the Panhandle where skies have been clearer and will continue to be so here in through the weekend along with uh, lighter winds. Uh, further west though, we have a stronger southerly flow of air across the North Pacific and Bering Sea on the west side of this ridge and a couple of low pressure systems and frontal system that's working their way eastward as well as north and this push of uh, milder and more moist air along the west coast is causing a problem with areas of snow that are mixing with or even changing over to freezing rain. As a result, we have a variety of winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories for uh, areas of the west coast and western interior through 6 a.m. Monday morning. Areas around the southwest uh, quadrant there of the Brooks Range, including Ambler, Kobuk, they're going to pick up... Uh, Oh, you're looking at two to four inches of snow accumulation with perhaps a tenth of an inch of ice. Further west, Nome has reported as, as much as a quarter to nearly a half inch of ice a couple miles inland from the coast there. And uh, an additional tenth or two of ice could fall in some areas, especially around Nome eastward toward uh, Golovin. But along uh, areas of the west coast as well, uh, through the straight and down uh, into St. Lawrence Island could see some wind gust as high as 55 to 65 miles an hour. Further south, a coastal flood advisory has been issued for uh, the Kuskokwim Bay as well as the western portion of Bristol Bay and that'll be in effect from Sunday 11 a.m. through 3 a.m. Monday morning, especially in that area there from Kipnik through uh, Quinhagat and then also uh, in and around uh, Togiak. We expect uh, water levels to run two to four feet above uh, high astronomical tide. We have a frontal system that'll be uh, bringing some gale force winds there and enhancing uh, those water levels on Sunday into the pre-dawn of Monday morning. Otherwise, we expect uh, the frontal system to push inland with some moisture, so we'll see some more precipitation spread inland across areas of the interior with yet another frontal system on its heels to impact the west coast as we go through Monday uh, evening. For Alaska statewide weather, I'm Peter Chan.